Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you our new Super B trailers. Um, and maybe that loader, but right now we're just going to take a look at the Super B trailers. They're, uh, they're all color selectable. You can get whatever color you want. They all have the straps in the right places. There is four straps on this trailer and two on the pup. It's got all your lights. It's got reverse lights. It's got signal lights. They don't, the reverse lights don't have uh, actual light sources, so they're just for looks, but they look cool. Um, like I said, you got all your stuff. And these actually do load up, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you guys today. So, to, what, to get these to load up, you get in here, and if you press X, these ones will fold down. And your trailer is going to sit in between the these uh this bunk here and this is where its tires are going to rest right on these little pegs so as you can see this thing spawns in without any landing gear i made that for a reason so um i made that so that when you load it up you don't get all messed up so see if i can do this here i added this little uh this little lifting jack here and it has a collision so all you have to do I need to do this in first person all you need to do is just grab onto this and there you got your trailer lifted up and now this is gonna go in between these bunks here Let's see if you just get close enough you can do this at the mill too, doesn't really matter. But all, basically, all you have to do is just drop it down into here. Those front stakes are in front of these ones, and these ones are behind. Maybe tricky at first, but... Even I struggle with it. There. And then you just let it go. It does not hook her up or any it does not hook up or anything. But maybe in the future I'll add it so that it that holds uh, hooks up to something. But as you can see there's two pads right there that sit on the bunk. And then this is how it goes. This this is exactly where you guys will need to have it. So that these, this tire is sitting right in here, and this tire is sitting on this one. I mean, I'm sure you can put it other places, but this is just where they do it in real life, and this is where I like to do it. So this bunk is right against that bunk, and this bunk, it has a little bit of room. And in your, la your jack, or your stand, your feet just kind of go in between it there. But if it doesn't, it's not a big deal, because it doesn't have collision, so, yeah. I'll, uh, like, these load up perfectly fine and everything. I will take you to the mill and show you how to load these up at the mill. Okay, I'll be back. Alright, guys, so now that we're at the mill, I'll just show you unloading it with the, uh, crane here. Like, as you can see, when you're at the crane, you might have to do it in third person. Just depends on where you sit. So basically, for unloading, all you do is the same thing. You just come down, you grab a hold of that little thing, and it'll just lift right up. And once you get past those stakes, you can pull it back, or you can just lift it up and drive it forward, it doesn't really matter. And if you can, you can line it straight up, which I don't think I did. But that neck has collisions, so I can drop this thing right now. You see, I can drop it, and it'll stay there. So now if I get in my truck, 
I should be able to attach that. Yeah, you see? And I see when I attach that, that thing goes away. So when it's detached, that rod will be up. And when I attach it, it'll be down. And same thing on these trailers. These fold out too, so you can get more of a load. It's just, if you're on a map with power lines or something, they will hit it. So that's why we just fold them. But I'll, uh, I'll load this thing up again with this crane, just so you guys know. It's probably not necessary, but oh well. But you see, if I detach, it's not going to go very far. Like, it's not going to drop straight down to the ground. It's going to go right to there, because that's where the collisions are. So what I can do is I can lower this. Grab onto here. Lift. You can pull, to you can do it tight or not or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And all you want to do is you just want to get, I just try and aim, because there's wheel, I'll show you guys the collisions here in a second, but you just kind of want to get it straight on with the trailer, and then kind of make sure your wheels are going to go down into where that those bunks are. So if it looks like it's good, then you can just let it down. And bam, you loaded up your trailer. This way you don't have to have this... You can leave it unloaded, but if you're on like some steep roads and, and steep and tight roads, it's a little nice to have. So, yeah, I uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and the download link for these will be somewhere, whether they're on Patreon or not, but, um, yeah, they've, oh, I guess I'll show you guys the lights here. They all have lights. I have the lights down there. Uh, these lights. And then when you reverse, oh, wrong vehicle. When you reverse, there are the reverse lights on there. That one turns on there, and then that one turns on there. There's no reverse lights on the pup yet, but they may come in a, another time. But yeah, if you guys want to see that Medill worked on some more or released, just let me know. But these will be out probably for Patreon. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed them. And if there's any bugs or anything, just let me know. And um, yeah. Thanks for supporting us, guys. See ya.